startups just sort of like blow past people doing it the old way. Um, I mean, this happens to people too, like watching, maybe you like talk to an average 20 year old and watch how they use ChatGPT. And then you go talk to like an average 35 year old and how they, they use it or some other service. And like the difference is unbelievable. It reminds me of like, you know, when the smartphone came out and like every kid was able to use it super well and older people would just like took like three years to figure out how to do basic stuff. And then of course people integrate, but, but the, the sort of like generational divide on AI tools right now is crazy. And I think companies are just another symptom of that. What are the cool use cases that you're seeing young people using with ChatGPT that might surprise us? They really do use it like an operating system. Um, they have like complex ways to set it up, to connect it to like a bunch of files and they have like fairly complex prompts memorized in their head or like, you know, in something where they paste in and out. And that stuff I think is all cool and impressive. And there's this other thing where like, they don't really make life decisions without asking like ChatGPT what they should do. Um, and it has like the full context on every person in their life and what they've talked about. And you know, the, like the memory thing has been a real change there. But but yeah, I, I think it, it, it gross oversimplification, but like older people use ChatGPT as a Google replacement. Maybe people in their 20s and 30s use it as like a life advisor something. And then like people in college use it as an operating system.